Hi, my name is Mimi. Today we are talking about what you need to do to create a 100-foot defensible space zone around your home. Defensible space is an area around a building in which vegetation, debris, and other types of combustible fuels have been managed to reduce the wildfire threat. Here in Sonoma County, we are all too familiar with devastating wildfires. How do we manage our landscape to protect our homes? The principles of defensible space apply whether we live near a wildland or in a city. It can seem overwhelming to think about what you need to do to create defensible space in the 100 feet around your home. But think of our recommendations as a basic framework. Your goal is to reduce the risk of embers igniting your home, slow the feeding of fire as it nears your home, and starve it when it gets really close. Your first task is to harden your home. Hardening your home means making physical changes to materials like siding and roofing to make your home more fire resistant. Here's a link to some good resources to help you do that. After you harden your home, start working on creating defensible space from the house working out. Think of our recommendations as a risk assessment for your home and landscape. And make sure you are complying with local fire regulations. Before we go into the defensible space zones, let's talk about plants. The reality is, all plants can burn. It's more important to consider plant placement, use of hardscape to break up planted areas, and ongoing plant maintenance to reduce risk of fire moving through your landscape. It's equally important to provide habitat in our gardens to support wildlife. We recommend selecting native plants that will thrive in your environment and provide food and shelter for birds, pollinators, and other wildlife. And make sure you're keeping your plants healthy and happy with appropriate irrigation. Many locally native plants can require far less water. Well-maintained plants are more resistant to fire and pests and diseases. In all zones, be aware of plants growing below trees and remove any ladder fuels. The rule of thumb is that the space from the top of any plant to the lower branches of a tree should be three times the height of the lower plant. Because if that lower plant ignites, flames can reach up and ignite the branches above, creating a more dangerous fire. Your first defensible space zone is the one immediately around your home perimeter from zero to five feet. The goal here is to prevent embers from igniting your home. Walk around your home and think where embers could land and start a fire. Do you have any plants or combustible materials that can be removed? Do you have a deck attached to your home? Remove any flammable materials or wood mulch from beneath and within several feet of your deck and ideally screen the area beneath your deck. Embers can easily set a wood fence on fire. Make sure you replace any wooden fences or gates attached to your home with metal or other non-combustible materials. Use inorganic materials such as gravel or stepping stones in the zero to five foot perimeter around your home, decks, and other flammable outbuildings. Here are places that are especially prone to spreading fire to your home. At a minimum, any plant materials in these areas should be removed. Tree limbs that overhang your home can result in a greater accumulation of debris on your roof and near the home. Throughout fire season, make sure you are regularly cleaning debris from your roof and gutters. Think of the next zone, five to 30 feet, as the place where you wanna slow down the fire and give firefighters a place to stage their defense. Focus on creating more space between garden beds, shrubs, and trees so that if a wildfire does come into this zone, the vegetation will not be able to burn to the house or into the crowns of trees. To achieve this, plant in islands separated by hardscape. Optimally, select lower growing plants up to three feet in height, such as ground covers, mown native grass, herbaceous perennials, and succulents. Individual trees and larger shrubs are okay in this zone as long as they are well separated well-maintained, and don't create ladder fuels. This is a great zone for hardscape elements, such as a water feature, brick patio, paving stones, dry creek bed, or boulders.
In the 30 to 100 foot zone around your home, the goal is to reduce the speed of approaching wildfire. In this zone, plants can be taller than in the 5 to 30 foot zone. Still placed in islands, separated by pathways of mown and well hydrated native grasses, or composted mulch or gravel to impede the spread of fire. You don't have to create a moonscape by removing all plant materials. Just focus on breaking up areas of planting. In areas that are densely vegetated, increase the spacing between trees or groups of trees and limb up lower branches of trees and shrubs. If you're looking to make an existing landscape more firewise, you can apply all these same concepts. Remove plants and wood mulch in the zero to five foot zone around your home. Limb up all trees six feet from the ground or one third of their height and remove any shrubs beneath trees, whichever is less. Break up planted areas into islands of planting, separated by hardscape. If your property is on a steeper slope, then you should increase the thinning between plants. Maintenance is just as important as the design of your garden. Throughout the year, make sure you are removing dead plants and dead branches from trees and shrubs. It's also important to keep dead leaves and branches from accumulating in the center of a plant, which will make it more flammable. Here's a list of maintenance that should be done annually before fire season. Once you've done the work to harden your home and prepare your defensible space, it's important to reach out to and work with your neighbors. Your zero to 100 foot defensible space zone may extend into a neighbor's property. Here are a few of the key recommendations for preparing your property for the next fire that we discussed today. Wildfire will always be a part of the California and Sonoma County landscape. Our goal is to design and maintain our homes and gardens in ways that reduce their vulnerability to wildfire. We hope this video helps you be better prepared.